Hello you sexy biscuits and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. One of the most requested things that I get asked to do are mod videos. Since the game released I have done a couple of modding videos. With every update for Kingdom Come Deliverance there always seems to be a new way of modding. So obviously make sure you have the most up to date version of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Then you want to head over to Nexus Mods. They have an amazing section on Kingdom Come Deliverance. We can go through new this week, popular by 30 days, or popular of all time. One thing to definitely look out for is the last update. Some mods won't work on the new update of Kingdom Come, so make sure that they've been updated recently. There are some mods that don't need to be updated, so they are fine. But always look just to make sure if the mod developer is still developing the mod. So today I am going to show you how to install Unlimited Saving. So here is Unlimited Saving. What I suggest you do with any mod is go down to the description. It'll give you tips on how to install the mod as well as other things. After you've looked through the description, make sure to go to files. Here you will find the main file. So we are going to go for no snaps version. This basically means that we can save the game even if you don't have any snaps. It'll bring up this window and then the mod will download. Drag and drop the folder that you just got from Nexus Mods. As you guys can see, this is a zip folder. So make sure to download something like WinRAR or any other form of zipper opener. These are easily found on the internet and they are completely free. Double click to open and here you will find the main folder. Drag and drop that onto your desktop. Now you want to go to Steam. Right click on Kingdom Come Deliverance, go down to Properties, go to Local Files and then Browse Local Files. This will bring you to your Kingdom Come Deliverance folder. The same theory goes for good old games as well. All you have to do is find where the game is installed. Once you're in your Kingdom Come Deliverance folder, make sure to create a folder called Mods. This is the folder you'll be putting your mods into. Once that is done, open up Mods, go back to your desktop and drag and drop the folder that you just got from the zip folder. And... That's it, it's done. So this goes for almost every single mod for Kingdom Come Deliverance now. It's that simple. So let's test out our new mod. Okay, so now we're inside the game, we can go to the start menu, go down to save game, and that's it. And as you guys could see, I didn't use any savior snaps, so it worked. If this tutorial helped you, please make sure to share it. It would mean the absolute world to me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's been a little bit shorter than normal. I'd like to give a massive shout out to Eben Hawk. He is the person who gave me the idea for today's video. I will be returning to Kingdom Come Deliverance very, very soon. Thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys. Oh!